typical publisher's finding, late uh, 19th century. Uh, leather, it's probably split cowhide, uh, very typical. Marble boards, uh, uh, sorry, marbled uh, end papers, uh, leather boards. The spine has completely failed, of course. The leather, uh, sorry, the um, thread is still intact for the most part. Let's get a close-up of that. This, of course, is called a text block, which is independent of the uh, binding. So, our efforts now are going to be to assess, which we've more or less done. It needs a complete rebinding. The thread has to be replaced. The leather has to be retained, if at all possible, and in this case there should be no problem. To describe briefly what we're going to do, the boards are going to be treated separately, of course. This will be trimmed off to the board. I will then take a palette knife, insinuate it under between the leather and the uh, board itself, and create a flap, folding it over as much as the leather will allow without cracking, etc. We will then turn it over, and again, using the palette knife, we will insinuate between the board and the paper as best we can and make every effort. It can't always be done, but in this case I have high confidence that we can pull it off. We will then insinuate the blade between the board and the paper, creating another flap, an inner flap. You'll see how that all ties in later uh, towards the end of the exercise. Uh, that's for the boards. The spine itself, there is enough spine intact. Uh, the client would like the spine retained, and I agree with that. It's a false uh, raised band uh, spine. All of this old paper, lining paper, needs to be uh, cleaned off, right down as close as one can get to the uh, leather as possible. Uh, occasionally, I even remove the original cord creating the, uh, or split bamboo, whatever it is, uh, creating the uh, raised spine and replace those. In this case, I probably won't need to do it, but we'll see when we get there. At the very end, this cleaned spine will then be reattached to a new cloth spine. As for the text block, as you can see, it is quite deteriorated, but very typically so for the period. The original adhesive on the spine was undoubtedly uh, some sort of uh, animal hide glue. Uh, not fish glue, uh, probably, because uh, of uh, its crumbly nature and the fact that it, hasn't, it wasn't acidic to begin with, which is a real plus and it hasn't actually deteriorated the, uh, the uh, spine edge of the signatures. All of these sections are called signatures. So what we'll do is with the text block is clean as much of this off as possible and then we will go into the signatures themselves. We'll need the center page of each signature we find those uh, by usually looking for a signature mark. And I won't be able to find a signature mark now. Trust me, there are normally signature marks with something of this. There's a signature mark. E, that is the fifth signature. We will go to the middle of it. I'm, I'm guessing... 16 pages, there you go, four pages, uh, sorry, eight pages in, four leaves in, there is the original sewing. In each signature we will then uh, cut that, both places, two loops in this sewing arrangement, and release the signature, clean it as best we can, uh, 
by cleaning it I mean of course the spine edge where the adhesive was and assess each signature as to whether it needs reinforcement or not. Uh, at that point after all of that is done we then reinforce every signature and then go on to the sewing. So the first thing we do is take a piece of scrap paper to catch the dribs and drabs. Take a reasonably good pair of scissors and trim. <coughs> 